Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to test another patch of um, Geiger counters, very cheap Geiger counters that you can buy on Amazon. And again, I'm going to compare them to this really expensive Geiger counter by the company Gamma Scout. This here is certified and it will definitely give us the right readings. The downside to this um, Geiger counter, however, is that it's really expensive. Um, I believe five or seven years ago I bought it for 450 euros, now it's 650 euros. And honestly, I don't think that a lot of people want to afford such an expensive Geiger counter. And this is today's mission. So I want to find Geiger counters which are reliable, which are giving us the same readings as this one here, but also which cost only a fraction of the price of this one here. Now in the last um, episode I have tested this Geiger counter by the company PewDiePie. It's called the NR750 and it was the winner of the last testing series. It gave me the same exact reading as my 650 euros Geiger counter and that's pretty incredible. So yeah, this one was pretty good and it sells for 60 to 80 bucks, which is an astonishing price for such a good Kaga counter. So I can definitely recommend this model. What I also have done today is I have bought some new models that I've never tested before. And also I have uh, bought uh, a few more of these, but in another color, another model type, and I want to test them out as well. And of course we need a radioactive source and this is my radioactive watch that I found on a flea market. So I have it in this plastic bag and actually without the bag I have measured 50 microsieverts, which is pretty hot. So that's quite radioactive. And yeah, now I'm going to lay this here and we are going to measure the radioactivity coming from this watch from different distances, first with this one and then with the other Geiger counter. This time I'm going to leave open the window because I found if I close this it's going to shield off too much radiation and uh, the alpha radiation is blocked by the plastic bag anyways. So now I'm going to leave this open and then we are going to compare the uh, Geiger counters. Alright, so now let's start at 30 centimeters, 0.25. Zero point two eight. Okay, one point three eight was the highest reading. Now let's come closer. Twenty nine is the highest reading with the gamma scout. Now let's test this blue one, the NR eight hundred fifty, and I know that it has the Geiger Müller tube at this side. All right, this one is giving me zero point three six. 38, 0.4 even at 30 centimeters. Zero point four five. Okay, now the alarm goes off. One thirty nine. Okay, 27 is the highest reading. This Geiger counter, which costs around 80 dollars, is giving me the almost same exact readings as my Gamma Scout. So yeah, pretty good quality for such a cheap Geiger counter. It also has a dosimeter function, so yeah, really good. So now I want to try out this Geiger counter, which is also by the same company, but this one is the NR950. Let's see if it's giving us the same readings as well. All right, so here we go. This is the user manual for the PewDiePie Geiger counter. And here you can see that they claim that the higher the model number, the smaller is going to be the relative inherent error that you get. I guess um, that might be true. And now I want to try out the red one, which is the best. So this should be better than the blue one. 
uh, we will see if it gives us about the same readings. Okay, we are at 0 0.29, 0 0.43, 47. One point four nine was the highest reading. Twenty nine was the highest reading that I got. All right, so the highest reading of the red Geiger counter was twenty nine, and that's the same I got with the Gamma Scout. All right, so now I'm going to test this orange Geiger counter because I want to see how it compares to the other ones. 22, 0.22, that's the lowest reading so far. 0.49, oh my god. So that's about the same reading as the other models. Okay, here the highest reading was 1.14. It's a little bit lower than with the other two. Mm. 25.5 is the highest reading that I got from this Geiger counter. So it's a little bit lower than the other two models here and also a little bit lower than the Gamma Scout. All right, so. Um, if we compare these three, the highest reading were 25.5, 27, 29. So it really seems as if this one detects a little bit more radiation than this one, and this one a little bit more than this one. Um, but in the lower values, they gave almost the same exact readings. So I think that still all of the three models are great and I don't think you need more in civilian use. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can get the blue one or the red one. But I think that this is more than you need because if you look at the figures, it's still very comparable to the Gamma Scout. Here at 20 centimeters, it was even giving us a higher reading than the Gamma Scout. So I think that all of the three models are doing great and I think they are doing much better than other cheaper models that I've tested so far. Okay, now let's test this Geiger counter by the company Fellert. I've never tested it before. Mm -hmm. it comes in a really nice box. Okay, it says that it can measure up to 10 sieverts. So that's really, really high. That's much higher than other Geiger counters. All right, here we go, um, 0.15. That's the normal background radiation here. Okay, it's not doing much. 0 0.14. That's not much more than the background that we measured before. All right, let's go closer. 0 0.11, that's even less than before. So that's the lowest reading that I got so far. Let's move closer. It detects radiation finally. What's awesome about this Geiger counter is that it gives you a trend. So you can see what was a couple of minutes before or seconds before. So here you can see that the radiation increases. And now we are at 0 0.6 microsieverts. That's much lower than the other Geiger counters. The other ones were over one already. So um, this Geiger counter is giving us far less readings than the other Geiger counters. And that's, um, I believe, because it has a smaller Geiger Müller tube at the inside. So it will not give us a lot of readings at low level radiation. So now we only have one. While we got um, 29, 27, 29, 25 from the other Geiger counters. And that's because this is a Geiger counter made for really, really high radiation. So in case of a um, nuclear bomb, let's say you are really, really close to the detonation, this will measure high radiation, which is much higher than the other uh, Geiger counters can, like this one here, because the other models that we tested, they are doing really good at low radiation, but at high radiation they are going to max out and then they cannot give you any reading anymore. And this is when you need 
a Geiger counter like this, which um, is not performing good at low level radiation, but this is going to do really well when you are in a high radiation um, area. So I definitely want to keep this Geiger counter because I really like how it's made. It seems to be um, made from a high quality. So I think it's a great Geiger counter, but it's not what I was searching for. I'm searching for Geiger counters that are really sensitive to low level radiation. And this one is not. So still I'm going to keep it because I know it's going to uh, perform up to 10 sieverts. And that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of radiation. High level only. Alright, so the next Geiger counter that I want to take a look at is this one here. So this can only detect radiation up to 100 microsieverts per hour. That's not a lot. So it should be very sensitive to low level radiation. So now I have to search for where the Geiger Müller tube lies. Alright, so as you can see guys, I am as close to the Geiger Müller tube as I can get. But it only gives me a reading of about 12 microsieverts. Okay, so this was the XR1 Geiger counter. I didn't measure the other distances, I only measured the closest one and the highest reading that I got was 13. The other um, Geiger counters, this one was giving us 29. So this is only giving us 13. Honestly, because of this reading, I would not buy this Geiger counter because it's not sensitive enough. Yeah, so this is one that I would not get. Now let's check the last one of today. Okay, that's an interesting Geiger counter. It comes with two batteries that are included. All right, so Currently the Geiger counter is giving us 2.6 sieverts. The highest that I measured is 3.6 so far. Okay, I have just opened up this Geiger counter and as you can see the Geiger Miller tube is a big one and it's called J305 Beta and what is this here? Looks like an R. So anyways, the measuring range of this device is 0 0.2 millisieverts to 1.2 millisieverts so that's 200 microsieverts to 1200 and that's for the gamma radiation um, honestly I think it should do better maybe it's a mid-range um, Geiger Müller tube I don't know but the only thing I know is that this Geiger counter here the Fellat has a much higher measuring range. Here the radioactivity will be measured up to 10 sieverts and that's really really high. That's so much higher than this device can measure here. All right so yeah I don't know what to do with this thing here. Maybe I send it back to Amazon or maybe I get a different Geiger Müller tube and exchange it with this one. Maybe then I will get some different readings. That's definitely an experiment that I want to try out. Alright, so if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned till next time.